She want that brand new designer, that Louis bandana, I told her I got it She want the wrist with the water and virtual the wallet, I told her I got it She said her ex go wild and giving her problems, I told her I got it I pass it out to the partners and it's been a while, I ain't heard nothing about it G'day, g'day, welcome back to this fucking piece of shit here yeah, Now just getting into camp What's David doing? Leaving stuff in our garage anyway Yeah, David can't Does he think he's moving in or something? Ooh, is he? If he is, smack him, smack him in the dick Tools. Uh, where's the socket driver? By toolbox, did David mean this? Or did he mean himself? Ooh. Roasted man. There's the socket. 50-50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. Maybe 90-10. You wanna die, David? You trying to die today? Socket wrench. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. Fucking beats my head for please. Oh. I would have fucking died laughing. <laughs> See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Deposit. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this. If you lost the attitude. Shut up, come. My attitude is what makes me special, Your David. Your head looks like a fucking piece of shit. Alright. Alright. Fuck off. Do not even look at me, cunt. What are you looking at me? Leave him hanging, for sure. What the fuck? Don't how fucking you touch do me. Anything is how you do everything. What are you doing? Fuck off, you awkwardly fuckhead human. Now I need a shower. Why is he so awkward? Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. Good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. Cunt. <laughs> What is he going for the car? You fucked off. Ready to roll? Fuck up. Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. No. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Mm hmm. Joyce, your mother, she's hurting, Chloe. Hurting for you. You've had it rough, no doubt about it. But all this staying out late, ignoring her command, drinking, drug use, it's making everything harder. Yeah, listen, Dad. For her. Do what I want. You need to shape up, get your act together, and put someone else first for a damn change. Her damn Am change. I making myself clear? No. Is it crazy if part of what David's saying makes sense to me? What? Say nothing. You don't know how lucky you are to have a mother like Joyce. She's an amazing woman. Coddles you, it's true. But it's only because she loves you. Problem is, you don't learn discipline that way. Give me one chance to show her how things could be, and you'll be singing a different tune. Mark my words. Dude, this guy is the biggest dickhead. Another cutscene. I'm not loving these cutscenes. They're fucked. Must move. Country? Music? Dad loved this song. I just called to tell you that I miss you.
What a beautiful day. Dad, turn it up. Hell yeah, man. I guess Mom left your purse back here? Yeah, it's all the cop that was cute. If Mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. Spark plug does, jerk one. Picking up my lover from the grocery store. God damn, that's fucked up. You're gonna be late. It'd take fucking six hours to fix it, that might be dickhead. Shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I see everything. I would literally kick I'll him in the fucking everything. head. Yeah, fuck off, dickhead. Trash. Hello, Black Hell. Ooh. Just fucking skip. Good luck, seniors. Fuck you, I dropped out. Future needs excellence. Man, I fucking not want to go to American schools. Australia's what it's that, right? Is that Frank? Hey! Chloe! Oh! Hey, Elliot! Elliot. Wait, what, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? No, this? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. Who exactly is Why? talking shit about me? You know, Why exactly? haters on social media. Great. I wish I could tell everyone to just get a life. <laughs> so, how about the Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? Oh. Sounds awful. No way. I'd rather have my eyes gouged out with rusted forks. Yeah, right. Me too, I guess. All right. See you in chem. Yeah, for sure. Try bitch. Back the fuck up. Move your damn book. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. The fuck is texting me? Hey, Miss Bitch's table. Oh my way. Alright, where the fuck am I going? Get a DVD from Steph. Alright. So does he want to buy? They have some bricks, bro. What the hell? What have you got here, Twitch? Don't call me that! True North. <laughs> A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back! Give it I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Ooh.
Kai's. No need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? Oh. Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. Damn, How much financial aid does tough. your deadbeat dad need again? Okay, yeah, you're gonna... Wow. Know. Dick move, Nathan. My yeah. dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. Oof. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave yeah, Nathan me a alone. Dickhead. No, fuck Nathan. You know something, Prescott? I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. Oof, do it. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Yay. Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! No. Stay up. Hey, if you don't take the time to stand back and watch, you miss some of life's finer moments. Frisbee the cunt. Fucking Frisbee! Like... Yeah. Booyah! That. <laughs> that took me months to put together! Shut up, cunt. Quit the team, Twitch. Or next time it'll be worse. Go to about. hell. Go to hell. Oof. Try bitch. Is that like a sister? You should be ashamed. You should be ashamed. You didn't intervene. Fuck off, you dumb bitch. Like some random girls is gonna walk up and be like, Hey, strap. Fuck off. Glad we talked. Me too. Best. Love you. There's no response. Left on red. Alright, uh, let's fucking go. Hello, can I go in the school? That pick would actually make a sweet tattoo. Maybe if I delay going inside long enough, Blackwall will be overrun by future excellence. And by future excellence, I mean mole people. Can I go inside? Hello? Maybe if I delay going inside long Bro. enough, Blackwall will be overrun by future excellence. I guess and by future inside. excellence, I mean mole people. Right. Is that my bitch I'm trying to talk to? This is great. Morning, Miss Grant. Chloe, are you all right? No. Yeah, retarded. I'm fine. Hmm. Hmm. Nice what do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. Oh. I wouldn't miss it for all the manganese in the world, Miss Grant. Your sincerity's overwhelming. With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind of change do you mean? Yeah. Well, the Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good, but instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. You don't think more money should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. I just keep touching Ms. Her Grant face. actually seems sad. Maybe in another six months, a new donor will come along with money for, I don't know, more lasers. More lasers? Do we have any lasers? Stop touching your face. Sadly. No. That is sad. Alright. Depressed bitch. I walk in. Like, how do we get into the school? Anti drug poster. I don't give a fuck about anti drug posters. Final exam. No, Chloe. Class is back the other way. Uh huh. The fuck do I get into the school? The front door is just a fucking bitch. What are you doing, Harold? Calling you Harold. People over there. Victoria. Ah, 
Carrie Price. Eh, fuck you. It's Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award oh, for my photography. Fucking punch you in the head. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. I want to literally. But you know all about that. Punch you. What with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Wait. What about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. Tell what, tell what Victoria? It's a photo. Big deal. But it's on Facebook! I, I mean, that basically means you and Rachel are like BFFs. I literally... We're really not. Uh, oh. So, what's she She's into? Fucking you know, bitch. what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? I mean, look at your face. Fuck off. Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're being you. Oh. I'm sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? You? Help me? Of course. That last problem was hard, right? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was you fucked yourself. fluorine, uranium, carbon, Potassium and uh, uranium again. Does that sound right? Perfect. Hey, thanks, Carrie. No problem. Dickhead. I, oh, I want to fucking absolutely flat kick her head. Let's push black door. No, I can't get in there. Fuck off. Need my DVD from Steph. Yeah. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. This is Mikey? Steph and Mikey. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. And some D &D. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. Try me. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Now that is a creature I wouldn't want to fight. Got my DVD. One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Yeah, my... Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Fair enough, dream fair life over real life. That's my motto. It's a fucking shit motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Yeah, Thanks, right. though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take like 20 minutes. What else have you got to do before class? Uh, fuck all. Second skip. I sure wanna love D&D. Or what the hell. Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> totally an elf nice. Barbarian. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know. I'm good. Alright. Let's get started. You are both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon. A Fair once enough. peaceful land, mm -hmm. now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the yes. Black Well. Of course. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, mm -hmm. seeking their warlord leader, mm -hmm. Durgaron, the yep. Unscarred. Of course. As yes. you enter the final camp, bloodied mm -hmm. and weary, okay. you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. Yes. I raise my staff to you in greeting. Mm -hmm. I am Elema, wizard statue. of the Third Circle. Foremost advisor to King Tiberius and sworn defender of Avernon. 
<laughs> introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh, Barb. Calamastia. Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes... Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? I once made a man in a club. I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him too. True story. You stand at a three-way crossing. Mm -hmm. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgeron, the Durgeron. Unscarred. Which way do you go? Right. Straight ahead, right? Fuck. We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon <laughs> frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Yeah. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? Let's go to the fucking training grounds. Prison camp. Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager, yeah. calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, uh, poor little Lord. guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shit face! Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying <coughs> probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Intimidate. Pick the lock. Attempt the, uh, intimidate. intimidate. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. You can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't. I cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his <laughs> scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? Uh, dragons and pussies. Everybody knows that dragons are pussies. That's why they hide in caves and only come out to breathe fire on sheep and eat cows Fuck. and shit. That was a mistake. The dragonkin growls, snapping at you and showing his teeth and claws. Tall one is a fool. Dragons are gods, he says. Damn. You make it tall. Oh, shit. You're short, I say. But you can always get shorter. Give me the key, or I'll chop off your legs and beat you to death with them. No, no. Please don't do that. Still, I cannot give key. Durgaron will eat me. I think he's close to breaking. Grab the key. Taste my axe. I twirl my axe around, badass style. Eat this, lizard. How badass? Really badass. Seventeen. That's pretty badass. The dragon can cowers before you, looking left and right. He opens his jaws, and you think he's about to yell for help. I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. This is going to be good. Here's what's up. I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. Then I'm mm -hmm. going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless body into so I can carry it around with me wherever I go. That way, the next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does that sound? Uh, wow. Okay. That was 
nuts. I'm going to give you a plus 10 bonus to charisma. Go ahead and roll. A small pool of urine collects under the elderly dragonkin as, hands trembling, it hands you the keys. Then, it dies of fear. Awesome. <laughs> yeah! Go team! Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. <laughs> What's next? Uh, training Loot room. sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Fair enough. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy-set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you, swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. Um, I do a strike. pommel strike. I strike his pommel hard. <laughs> um, what did I say? A pommel is the end of a sword handle. Pommel strike is where you hit the guy with it. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, I do that. Except you're not wielding a sword, you're wielding an axe. This sucks. <laughs> it's all right. Try using your- You've delayed too long. The orc swings his war hammer at your head, barely missing your move. I need him. Fun. Right in the orc balls. Success. The orc clutches his groin, never to father children again. You guys are right. Your turn again, Chloe. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game. It's going well. What about the loot? Well, loot. as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survived. Oh, Damn. Shit. Don't we'll worry, Alamon guy. We all make mistakes. Alamon nods. Calamastia, the elf barbarian, is most wise and forgiving. What's next? Uh, I guess we'll finish it's the game. tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders Holy of the shit, Black dog. Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red eyed minotaur. Swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two handed sword that's a easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's cataclysmic cone of fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgeron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, Fuck you know, no. Acid Blast, which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? <laughs> What'll it be? Um, Brutal Punch. Oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation strike! That sounds boss as fuck! One? Oh, fuck. That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the <laughs> ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh, no. Three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs, plural, severing both feet at the ankles. This game is awesome. My feet? 
Durgeron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, oh shit. shit! I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. God stomp, damn. stomp, stomp. This is sure. all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? Um, dance. Encourage. Uh, jump in front of. Uh, I jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. Okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Oh, shit. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. And we're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. Damn, it brother. hurts like hell. What do you do? Swing for his arms, swing for his head, swing for his arms. I bring my axe down onto his arm. The one with the fire bracer thingy. Oh, brilliant. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. 20. 20. Fuck yes. You bring your axe down in a wicked chop, severing his arm completely. His bracer of fire immunity clangs to the ground. I cast Gignomi's fire strike of flame. Ooh, sick. Snap! Lying on the ground, you conjure a flaming spear, which flies from your hands to spear Durgeron in the chest, incinerating him completely from the inside out. Damn, Elamon! Durgeron is defeated, <clears throat> but your wounds were too great. You dead. I'm afraid Calamastia is dead. I actually feel sad right now. <laughs> Better to have what? died a hero. Then live as a coward. That was fun. Check out what I drew. How do you Mikey's draw got that serious drawing second? skills. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah, I'll adventure with you anytime. Hey, <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, brother. Thanks for the game, nerds. Motherfuckers. Time is going slow and I don't mind. Tell me if you know.